Welcome to the Crypto Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is September 4th, 2024, and we've got a lot to cover in the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Arbitrum has marked its third anniversary with the launch of Stylus on its mainnet. This innovative tool allows developers to craft smart contracts using various programming languages that compile to WebAssembly, such as Rust. This promises enhanced performance and security over the traditional Solidity language. Stylus is now available on both Arbitrum 1 and Nova chains, aiming to streamline the creation of more complex and efficient blockchain applications. A notable advantage of Stylus is its potential to significantly cut down on gas costs for computation-heavy tasks, making it a valuable asset for developers. Several projects are already harnessing the power of Stylus. Renegade Finance is developing a privacy-preserving decentralized exchange, while Superposition is working on a concentrated liquidity AMM. Other projects like Crypto Valley Exchange and Fairblock are focusing on advanced smart contracts for derivatives trading and implementing complex cryptographic schemes, respectively. Although the Stylus ecosystem is still in its infancy, it is receiving robust support from partners like Etherscan and OpenZeppelin to boost accessibility and security. Exciting events are on the horizon, including weekly AMAs, the minting of the first NFT contract powered by Stylus, and workshops for advanced builders. Additionally, there's a proposal to fund the Stylus Sprint program, which aims to encourage early development of Stylus smart contracts with potential rewards of up to 5 million ARB. In other news, Binance Research has released a comprehensive half-year report on the cryptocurrency market, with a particular focus on Bitcoin. The report highlights Bitcoin's strong performance in the first half of the year, with its market dominance soaring to over 55%. Key metrics such as market cap, trading volume, transaction rates, and hash rate have all shown improvement. The report also notes the growth of the Lightning Network capacity and the emergence of Bitcoin NFTs alongside the introduction of the Runes Protocol, a new fungible token standard. The Atomicals Protocol was also discussed, which enables users to mint, transfer, and update digital objects on the Bitcoin network supporting both fungible and non-fungible tokens without relying on centralized services. The report touches on macroeconomic factors, including the London Stock Exchange's plans to launch a market for Bitcoin and Ethereum exchange-traded notes, and BlackRock's optimistic outlook on Bitcoin, highlighting the rapid growth of their spot Bitcoin ETF, IBIT. In a previous update, Bitcoin's market cap surpassed $1.4 trillion, ranking it as the eighth most valuable asset globally. Vanek also announced zero fees for its Bitcoin spot ETF for a limited time. Overall, the report paints a positive picture of the cryptocurrency market, particularly for Bitcoin, as it continues to gain traction and recognition. Finally, a thread by thinker 88 outlines a go-to-market strategy for entering the Korean crypto market, especially following the recent interest from international participants during KBW week. The Korean market is heavily focused on altcoins, with over 10 million users engaging in centralized exchanges. However, only a small fraction actively follows crypto news or understands market fundamentals. The aftermath of the Terado Kwon scandal has led to a cautious approach among local builders and developers. Institutional adoption remains limited, primarily involving IT and gaming companies, with financial institutions focusing on real-world assets rather than crypto due to regulatory constraints. To successfully penetrate the Korean market, collaboration with local partners, such as research firms, venture capitalists, and media outlets, is crucial. The thread provides a list of recommended partners across various sectors, including marketing agencies and key opinion leaders. It also emphasizes the importance of exploring potential partnerships tailored to specific interests in Web3 and Web2 sectors. Regarding token listings, major CEXs like Upbit and Bithum dominate the market, but they operate independently of the local CEX association's regulations. The thread warns about potential scams related to listing fees and advises hiring local professionals to navigate compliance and operational risks effectively. The author encourages feedback and engagement from readers to refine the strategy further. 
That's all for today's episode of the Crypto Daily News. We hope you found these updates insightful and engaging. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more news and insights from the world of cryptocurrency. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring the blockchain universe.